Hey, what is up guys? Justin here back bringing you the trade day results for the five players we do have up and uh, we accumulated just about 72 trade offers for all those five players. So thank you guys very much for all that and just like always just sit back, relax, enjoy the trade offers and we'll just slowly go through them and we'll see which ones are the best ones and we'll pick them out, alright? So we're going to go through them and first of all I just want to say thank you for everybody who's sending an offer in such short notice. I think it was around three to four hours but... You guys definitely proved that you will send in trade offers very quick. Uh, I've not tried a three-day trade day, uh, but I know a lot of people don't really like those because I hold the players for way too long. But anyways, let's go right into the trade offers here. We got Corey Perry with seven, Phil Kessel with 17, Filthy Phil. We got Patrick Kane, Nifty Mins for 28. Uh, we got 28 trade offers, what am I saying? Uh, we got Marion Hosa with 13 trade offers, and then we got Brian Gianna with seven trade offers. So... I'll try to be as lenient with Brian Gianna um, for trade offers at least. I'm stumbling on my words. Sorry about that. But we will check his trade offers right now and see what we get. So first offer here. Jeff Skinner, Mark Stahl, Valtteri Filpula, and Hajalmerson. Oh man, it feels nice to have a lot of time just to go through all these offers. But this offer, definitely not bad. So we'll just compare it. 6.5k, that is I think a bit better than this deal. I mean, all those players, 2k, Mark Stahl, Filpula, Hajalmerson basically quick sell for me uh Krejci is around what four to five k Landis Cog's around two to three k not he's not worth too much nowadays uh but I know Krejci is a pretty wanted player still so I will definitely delay that and reject the 6.5 because Krejci and Landis Cog definitely the better deal here Brian Gianna I think was worth around 10 to 15 k so uh, not a bad deal for sure then we got uh Brent Burns here 87 overall and he's not going for too much nowadays like 5 10 k max uh, he is a pretty solid player, but still, I'm going to reject that. Compared to the first deal, the first deal is in the lead. Now, we got another offer here of 3,000 Krejci. And when you're comparing Landis Cog with 3,000, I'm going to reject the 3,000. I think the Landis Cog is just a little bit better. Now, next up, we got Voracek, Le Cavalier, and Louis Erickson. Uh, Voracek is not too much nowadays. Uh, Le Cavalier, both on the Philadelphia Flyers. Louis Erickson, I can reject that as well. And the last offer here is Sean Couturier, HFC card, with 46 bucks. <laughs> Definitely not necessary. So if I'm going to compare both offers here, uh, Krejci Landeskog versus Couturier, Couturier is going to be the better one here. So accept the offer, and let's move on. So enjoy your Brian Gianna. Pretty solid deal, in my opinion. Alright, so the next most least expensive player is Marion Hosa with 13 trade offers here. So let's see what we got here. Taylor Sagan, worth around 45 k Marion Hosa is just around 70k. I uh, usually just price them in 25k increments so uh, people can find them easier. But Tyler Sagan worth around 45k with a plus 5 balls, 15 game duration. I can reject that straight up. Uh, I'm looking for around at least 60 plus for that. And the consumables I'm not too interested in selling right at the moment. Uh, but Ryan McDonough, he's around 10 to 15k I think. So I would say around 15. Alright, 15k with Seabrook, he's around 20. And he does have the Winter Classic, so he might rise a little bit, so maybe 25. So you're getting about 40, 48 with the Sedins. Not too bad of an offer, all right? I can reject this one. I think the other deal is definitely worth above 50K. Uh, if I'm to look at this one, 35, 43. Um, Daniel Sedin for sure, at least getting at least 50. With Sedin, you're getting around 60, right? So I can reject the 52K puck straight up. I think this is the better deal in the long run, for sure. Jeff Carter, Ocposo. Ocposo is a quick sell player. Carter around, what, 15, 20k? Not worth too much here. Uh, Eric Carlson and Kessler. So, Carlson's still around 45k. Kessler's worth around 30. So, you are getting around 75k in value. So, that's a very good deal. And I do like Kessler. He's a very solid player uh, in general. But next up, we got Patrick Marlowe, Joe Pavelski, and Max Pacioretty. A lot of 89 players, uh, 188. Patrick Marlowe, what, it's worth around 15, 20, uh, maybe even the 20k region. Pavelski, not worth too much. I can reject that straight up. I like the second offer. Honestly, I'm going to reject that one as well. I'm liking the Carlson and Kessler deal. Uh, there's not any pucks, but the player straight up is pretty even, right? Uh, but going on here, Jamie Benn and Bacchus. Jamie Benn's worth around, what, 55 maybe? 55, 60 with Bacchus. Not a bad deal, but Jamie Benn, his value is just all over the place. I mean, he could be worth 55k. 
that will make it around 63 64 but I can guarantee I get a 75k from that first deal so I'm gonna take that one for sure or at least consider it now Mark Andre Fleury Luongo Carlson and Wisniewski um a lot of goalies here but it does not really add up to 30 40k even uh, I'm gonna reject that straight up the Carlson and Kessler deal very solid uh, Kessler and Marlowe, uh, Carlson's definitely worth more than Patrick Marlowe for sure, so I can project that. Bobrovsky, Daniel Sedin, Couture, and stole a 4 for 1 deal with 19k coins. Ooh. Okay, I think this was someone from YouTube. I know he posted a comment, I think. But Bobrovsky's worth around 20k. Daniel Sedin, maybe 10. So you're getting about 30, 48. With Couture, maybe 60. No, I'm still gonna reject that. I mean, straight up. Once again, two players that are worth a lot, I would rather take that. And I can definitely say that uh, Carlson goes for more than Martin St. Louis at the moment. And we also got another deal here. Plakanitz, Brody, and Verbata. Uh, Verbata is worth not too much. Same with Plakanitz, he's a 20k player. Uh, Brody, uh, Troy Brody. Troy Brody, right? Uh, going for around 85, uh, not, not too much. Uh, he's basically 10, 15k. So I'm going to reject that straight up. And finally, we're going to go for Eric Carlson and Ryan Kessler. My chair keeps squeaking, but just ignore that. We're going to take those two players. So enjoy your Marion Hossa on the Toronto Maple Leafs. I will take the Eric Carlson and Ryan Kessler. I'm sitting in a very awkward position. That's probably why it keeps creaking. But uh, next up, the most cheapest player right now is Phil Kessel. So I'll do that first. You know what? I will do Corey Perry because that has less trade offers uh, to, for me to go through at least. Vladimir Sabotka. I swore he was a free agent. <laughs> I don't know. Reject that. He's got 84s across the board, but no, I'm going to reject that. Henrik Zetterberg. This was from someone on YouTube as well. Uh, let me see if I can pull up the name here. And I think this is the one. Reverse AE. I think that's you, right? I think that's your Pittsburgh Zetterberg. Uh, I will definitely delay that. 96k straight up. Zetterberg's worth around 150 to 175k. His range is just about there of Corey Perry, so it's a pretty good deal straight up. And I wouldn't mind trying out a Zetterberg as well. 140k, that's a very even deal. I will uh, delay it. Ryan Suter, Patrick, Akposo, and Gabrick. Uh, Suter is going for around 110, I think. I'm trying to pull up numbers out of my ass right now. But Ryan Suter, just worth around 110k. Patrick, Akposo, Gabrick. You're getting a full Los Angeles line there, but the three players that he gave me in the Los Angeles aren't too good. So I'm going to reject that straight up because I do like Henrik Zetterberg. 92 overall, right? Then. We got John Tavares, 5k, and Carter. Tavares is worth around 85, 90k now. His value has dropped to below 100k, which sucks. But uh, we also got Carter and 5k. I can reject that straight up. I do really like the Henrik Zetterberg once again. And we got Brown Bieber. Oh, God. Brown Bieber. We're going to reject that shit. All right. So I think if we're going to compare these both offers, 140k versus Henrik Zetterberg. I'm going to go for the Henrik Zetterberg. So enjoy your scory parry. And I'll take... Henrik Zetterberg, the Super Swede. Alright, so next up, we got two more players left. And this trade date is not taking too long. Uh, so far, nine minutes. Not bad at all. Alright, so Phil Kessel. 17 trade offers. A very popular player uh, just because of his stats. TJ Oshie, Patrick Marlowe, Pacioretty, and Carter. Not too bad of a deal. But I think that there's uh, some better ones in the trade offers. But I will delay it. We'll never, we'll never know until we actually go through the trade offers. But Doug Gilmore... Uh, maybe a 30k player, 25-30k player with Chris Kunitz. I can reject that straight up. I like, I guess, the first one. It's not too bad. Uh, then we got Petra Angelo, Thornton, and Steen. Uh, uh, Piet Trangelo. Piet Trangelo is going for around 60k at the moment. Thornton's going for around 7 to 8k. Not worth too much. And Steen, you're getting about 68 to 69k uh, with this deal for Phil Kessel, which is not bad. Uh, but I am losing a little bit of money just for selling Phil Kessel then, which doesn't, it's not too bad of a deal. But I'm going to reject the first one, because this deal is in the lead at the moment. I do like Petra Angelo. He's a pretty easier to sell player than most defensemen nowadays, but he also got a gold contract here. Uh, we can reject that. Uh, we got Luke Robitaille. I'm not exactly sure how much he's going for. I think around 45, 40. Uh, Seabrook is around 20. Sharp P is around 15. So you get about 35k in Luke Robitaille. That's giving you around 75 to 80k, which is a pretty good deal. Not gonna lie, so I will delay it. You got 66k. I'm liking the other deal for sure. Um, 
for sure i can reject the first offer because the second offer is a little bit better the luke robotai deal uh we got seventy-eight thousand coins i did buy phil kessel for just around 79k so i am losing a little bit of money there because there is a five percent tax but uh not a bad deal right then we got 2000 jamie ben cal Turris, mike green i can reject that i'm not too interested in jamie ben kind of straight up for phil kessel those guys are basically quick sell petrangelo going for around 60 with the puck 65 with the bow meester you're getting around 68 maybe uh so i can reject that the six the 78k is not bad at all uh, i will delay it claude drew is going for around 70 so you're getting around 80k with this deal so i'm liking that deal better so i can reject the first that deal i think i can reject this deal as well the 80k straight up is not a bad deal uh with claude drew i'm liking that then we got martin st louis anderson maselli and Johnson, no thanks, no thanks. I'm maybe pronouncing his name wrong with Sully, but um, we'll never know, right? You guys can correct me in the comment box below. But we also got Bieber. Oh, fuck off, Bieber. Uh, we got Baxter, McDonough, Carlson. So Carlson's around 45k. With the Pucks, you're getting around 60. With McDonough, you're getting around 70. With Baxter, you're just getting just about 80k, which is not bad. Uh, Carey Price, he's going for around 80 to 85k. So that's a very solid deal. I do like Carey Price. Um... That's basically a 90k deal, so not too bad as well. 74k, we can reject that straight up. We got Vladimir Sobotka again. We got a gold contract. And I think I know what offer to take. The carry price looks nice, but let's see what's at the end here. Yeah, Thornton, Krejci, Marlowe, and Eric Stahl. Very good offers. Not, not bad at all, right? But I think for sure I can go for the carry price. Uh, he is 92 overall. Goalies aren't too popular, but the carry price is not worth too little either he is around 85k so there you go enjoy your carry price or i mean enjoy your phil castle i'll take the carry price i will definitely enjoy the carry price but we got 30 offers last but not least patrick kane with 30 trade offers so let's go through him sorry i'm just readjusting myself maybe they're all troll trades but i have checked and they have kind of been all like legit offers so that's crazy jeff carter mark giordano louis erickson and kari lettinen i can reject that straight up i know it's under 100k Taylor Hall, Cronwall, and Sagan. Ooh, this is a game changer because I think Taylor Hall's around 140. With Sagan, you're getting about 185. With Cronwall, you're getting about 205k there. Uh, definitely not bad at all. I'm, that's a very good offer. Then we got Ryan Kessler, Pavelski, and Nyquist. So you're getting about 160,000 just with the pucks. Uh, then Kessler's about 90 or 30k. What am I saying? Just about 30k. So you're getting about 188. Just about 190. With Pavelski and Nyquist, you're getting a solid 205, 210k as well. So those first two deals, we're get, they're going to be competing. Uh, Corey Perry, just around 190 with the 6.9k pucks. We can reject that. I think it's under 200k, which is very close. But when you're going to compare those two deals, right off the bat, we're going to be having a lot of competition for Patrick Kane. Then we got Vladimir Tarasenko. Ooh... I like his stats, but I don't think his value is there. I don't think it's Patrick Kane value. I don't think so. He's a much popular player. Then next up, we got Yaka Voracek, McDonough, Hedman, and Backstrom. Uh, Voracek, just worth around around 50k. So you're getting about 150 with McDonough. You're getting about 165 with Hedman. Just about 180 with Backstrom, 190. I can reject that deal as well. All right, next one. Going on to the third one here. Phil Kessel, Landeskog. Carlson and O'Reilly. I think that's the new Landis Scott from the team of the week, which I'm not exactly sure how much he goes for, but I don't think he goes for more than 50k. Honestly, Phil Kessel just around 70, 80k with Carlson 120. I don't think Landis Scott goes for 80k, so I'm gonna reject that straight up. And those first two deals still seem like they are the front runners for our trade day block for Patrick Kane, Luke Robitaille, Doug Gilmore, Voracek, and Pominville. This is not the 90 version Voracek. Uh, the 90 version goes for just about 125 to 150k. There's not too many in the market, but I know there is a range. Luke Robitaille, Doug Gilmore, very low end legend cards, right? These are the lowest end you can get, other than Mike Bossy and uh, Yari Curry, right? So with Jason Pominville, not too interested in. Honestly, I would not take those three or four players for Patrick Kane. I'd rather just have Patrick Kane by himself. But next up, we got Jakob Voracek. 90 skating 92 shot and 92 hands someone told me they were going to send this in and uh, i think it was also from a guy on youtube let's see if i can find him uh i don't think i'm gonna find him someone said that they sent in the november uh vor check but i cannot find him unfortunately so 
Voracek, I know, goes for about 200k plus. I might have to double check on his value because there are a lot out. Next up, Ryan Kessler, Petrangelo, and Sharp Pietrangelo. Sorry, I keep messing up the name. Pietrangelo. Um, we got Ryan Kessler, Petrang Pietrangelo, and Sharp. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Kessler, just worth around 115k with Petra Pietrangelo. <laughs> you're getting around uh, 60k, so you're getting about 175k with Sharp. I can reject that straight up. I am fucking up big time. I fucked up, all right? Uh, I know that. But let's go on to the next player here, Giroud and Yager. Giroud's worth around like 80k, like we said. Yager, maybe 30. You're getting about 110, which is not enough for Patrick, uh, yeah, Patrick Kane. Going on to the fourth one, 184 big ones. I can't really take that either, uh, just straight up. I would rather just take any of those other three offers. Three, Movember Richards. No, fuck off. Richards, what, is a fourth line? I highly doubt he's going to get a team of the year card to make him like 95 overall, but not definitely not a very interesting player to trade. But next up, we got Honey and Mapafu. Uh, no, I'm not interested in that deal, man. I'm sorry about that. Uh, we got Buckweiser and Grundy. No, 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 no. Uh, let's check the fourth offer here. Maybe there's troll trades. Reimer, Rene Bergeron, and Carlson. Ooh, I know what Rene's worth 50k. No, I'm just kidding. These are the fake ones, obviously. The silver ones. All right, we're going to delay that or reject it. Uh, let's see what we have up next. Kopitar, Jamie, Ben, Parise. Uh, Kopitar worth not too much. I think he's the cheapest 91 overall you can get, uh, being just around 40k other than Rene. Rene's worth around the same value as well, but Jamie, Ben, Parise. I know the overalls are better than Patrick Kane, but Patrick Kane is worth a lot. He really is. He's like the Neymar of the fucking NHL 15, so he's worth a lot. All right, next up, we got Voracek and Phil Kessel. Um, Kessel's worth around 80K. With the pucks, you're getting about 126. Voracek, just above 50K, so you're not getting too much with that deal. I can reject that straight up. I'm definitely going to have to compare a couple offers here. But Taylor Hall and 10, we can reject that as well, because we do have the Taylor Hall with Cronwell and Sagan. Patrick Kane, straight up. No, 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 I know what you're trying to do there, but no, no, I'm not interested in that. Keep your Patrick Kane for yourself, uh, and I will. I want to take an offer that's somewhat more unique than just taking out Patrick Kane for a Patrick Kane, right? I mean, that is a safe deal, though. But, uh, too bad these offers are pretty good. Going on here, Patrick Marlowe, Krejci Couture. I can reject that straight up. Less than 100k on the Xbox One markets. Uh, Johansson, Bozak, Giordano, Mr. Baldi, and Dubinsky. Uh, I can reject that as well. Got a couple Columbus players there, but the first three are still very good trade offers. Clapperton, Futches, Bieber, Cox. Oh, man, Clapperton and Fugs, Bieber, Cox, reject, reject. I wonder if that's how you actually pronounce his last name, though. Fux? Like, I don't I don't think anybody calls him Mr. Fux. Like, it sounds a little bit weird, but it's probably like Fuchs or something like that. But Martin St. Louis, Pavelski, Marlo Thornton, definitely under 200k. I can reject that straight up. I don't want to spend too much time on the offers that go for under 200k now. That deal, definitely under 100k. Um... Let's see what else. 145k, I can reject that. Not too bad, but just Taylor Hall straight up is a very good deal. John Tavares is worth under 100k now with 88k. I can reject that as well. It's a very good offer. A very solid player. 91 overall, but I just cannot take that. Uh, Claude Giroux, Ryan Kessler, and Rick the Dick Nash. I went to the last one accidentally, but Giroux is just around 80k. Rick Nash worth around 50, so you're getting about 130, 160 with Stepan. You're getting just about 170, 180 with the pucks. Once again, that is rejecty, rejection worthy, I guess. Uh, but 90k Parise, Thornton, and Marlowe. And that's going to be definitely under worth 200k. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come right back. I'm going to cut the clip right there. And I'm going to check the values for Hall, I guess. I, I kind of know the value of Cronwall. I'm going to check the value of, I guess, Voracek as well. And those are the two players I have to check. I'll end up the quickly I'll quickly end up the episode right after that. So just stay in your seats. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, we got five trade offers left. I did do some scouting on the trade offers just to see what they are worth. Uh, we got a couple more counter offers here, but that's definitely under 100 k so I'm sorry about that. We got 95k in Tavares once again. Just not worth enough for uh, Patrick Kane. Alright, so Taylor Hall, worth just around 140. With Cromwell, you're getting about 160. Uh, with Sagan, you're getting about 45, so you're getting just about 205k there, alright? Ryan Kessler, you're getting about 30k with the 158k pucks, just about 160. Oh, 
sorry about that you're getting just about 210k here which is a very very solid deal with the pucks with D this deal Jakob Voracek going for a little bit less than I thought going for under 200k right now so we can reject that straight up so it's going to be down to these two trade offers and when I think about it I am going to go for the second deal because you get a solid amount of pucks you get three players that I know I can make a lot, little bit of money back uh, Taylor Hall is kind of hard to sell uh, not too bad but if I have to sell Sayan Cromwell and Hall or take the 160k Kessler Pavelski Nyquist I'm gonna go for the 160k and those three players uh, so there we go enjoy your Patrick Kane and that will end off the trade day results so I hope you guys did enjoy this six hour trade day we did take an offer for every single player once again so thank you guys so much for making that possible obviously I didn't get any trade offers it would be tough to do that but everybody competed so thank you guys so much look forward to the next trade day results that is coming out soon if you're new here obviously subscribe but uh i'm going to also be posting out a couple trade day results uh or trade days in the future as well as a couple hot roulette episodes so look out for that and that is just about it so anyways thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys later bye Jesus Christ, guys. Look at this team. It's actually filthy. Uh, our first line's looking really well. It played really well for us last game. And our second, third, fourth line, it really does compete against most teams. And now with our goalie in there, Henrik Lundqvist, I bought the cheap.